Can I help you? How'd you know I was here? I disabled your alarm. Maybe, but this place has all sorts of eyes and ears. <laughs> so, you want to play with slugs, huh? I want what's mine. Thought a little soap might help clean up this mess. There's nowhere to run, so now might be the time to tell us why Black sent you before my friend gets trigger happy. Black? I don't work with that slug turd. I work alone. You can't hide it forever. Wait! Hide what? Who are you? I want my share of that treasure. Treasure? And I promise you, I'll get it. Does anyone know who that was? I'm still going with one of Black's lackeys. I don't know. No real reason to lie about that. And she wasn't using ghoul slugs. But what treasure could she be talking about? Obviously, she was after the legendary Shane treasure. Well, if it's so legendary, how come I've never heard of it? This wouldn't be the first time your dad kept something secret from you. Just think, you could have a vast fortune hidden somewhere. You could be rich! Rich? Rich? I don't know. My dad talked about caches of stuff hidden around Slugterra, things I'll need someday. But I think it would have said something about a fortune. Some of it could be hidden here, right under our noses. <sighs> hmm. More secrets, huh? Okay, but I'm not sure how or even where. Allow me. Haven't seen one of these in ages. 
The thing's been coated with smolten. Only way we're getting this baby open is with a forge smelter slug. Oh, but we don't have one of those! Well, where can we find one? Oh, we would have to travel to the deepest regions of the magma caverns. It's way too dangerous. It's basically all molten lava. And don't forget the magma monsters. And the ferocious lava bats that will swoop down and gorge themselves on my sweltering brains. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of place. Let's load up, gang. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> So, Eli, you don't find it at all ridiculous that your dad not only expected you to find that chest without instructions, but he didn't even leave you a way to open it if you found it? Uh, my dad always liked me to figure things out for myself. And you're cool with this? Doesn't matter whether or not I'm cool with it. It's just the way it is. Oh, nice one! Um, how are we supposed to cross an ocean of lava? Never fear! Pronto the Magnificent shall drain the sea of fire! Now! <coughs> I, uh, I mean, now! Pronto! How did you... Magnificent? Eh? Uh, also, the lava tide goes in and out every hour on the hour like clockwork. So, if we are to do this ridiculous, crazy thing and get ourselves some sweet, sweet treasure, we must embark immediately. The drowning in fire clock is already ticking. Fifty-nine minutes! Oi. Hmm. What is it, Eli? I thought I saw... Nothing. I just can't stop wondering who that thief was and how she could have known about this chest. Whoever she was, she couldn't possibly be dumb enough to come here. We own that level of dumbness. Surviving the magma caverns is slow and steady. But didn't you say we had to hurry? Might want to keep it down, too. Don't want to wake any magma monsters. Ah, only a fool would be afraid of a silly little... We'll, uh, <laughs> have to cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> yeah. We must hurry before the lava tide comes back in. Remember, slow and steady. Is 
seriously, it's almost like he expected you to go on this crazy mission. Fire Geyser! You think? Fire Geysers give a warning hiss before the blast, so there shouldn't be a big problem if we go... Slow and steady, yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh oh. Go, go, go! We made it! Behold, the fabled Forge Smelter Chamber! Well, let's find one quick and get out of here. Huh? Or you can just give me that chest. Since I've got the only key. You think that's the only slug in this cavern? The only one you're gonna find. I just unleashed a frost crawler and scared off all the others. Oh, it took me hours before they return! But the lava tide will be back a whole lot sooner. So, you gonna give me my share of that treasure? Or are we all gonna boil? She's got nerve. I'll give her that. Look. I don't know who you are or why you think you have dibs on anything in that chest. My name's Dana Poor, and if that doesn't ring a bell, perhaps this will. You recognize that man with your dad? Yeah, that's Tom... Poor. He's your father, isn't he? My dad talked about him all the time. They were like best friends. Until he betrayed my dad. Betrayed Will Shane? Huh. Your dad obviously didn't tell you the whole story. Ooh, there's a shocker. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Oh, my dad's been known to leave out a detail or two. Well, my dad didn't. He was Will Shane's recon man, and he was the best there was at getting information. And all of that valuable info went to Will Shane. This helped him stay one step ahead of the bad guys. They were a great team. But my dad knew something wasn't right about Will Shane. He would disappear for days at a time and never have an explanation for where he went. Will Shane was keeping a lot of secrets. So, my dad decided to start watching your father. He was hiding treasure, treasure he promised to share with my dad. But that wasn't the worst of it. Will Shane was working with the enemy. My dad would never work for Black. Not Black. Even worse, the Shadow Clan. When my father confronted him about this, Will denied everything, except the treasure part. So my father became angry and challenged your dad to a duel. And we all know what happens when you challenge Will Shane to a duel. Which is why you're gonna give me his cut. Huh? Dana, I can't believe my father would do that. But I also can't always explain or understand his actions. Uh, Pluto finds this all very moving, but he would also like to remind you that the lava tide will return soon. <laughs> so, uh... I don't care about gold. If that's all you're after, I'll give you a share. If you give us a slug so we can get out of here. Uh, yes, yes! Uh, get out of here! <laughs> no! We open it here, right now. And there's little time to argue, so let's get to it. Fine. It's just a bunch of junk. What is all this? You trying to scam me? Worthless, trash, junk. Told you there was no fortune. Though I was hoping there would be too. Maybe I can melt this thing down for something. The Shadow Clan. They're coming. Ugh. Shadow Clan, huh? Yeah, they get here so fast. Who cares? Let's make them leave. <laughs> 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 the 
Labatite is coming in! Come on! Get out of here! Come on, Eli! I'm coming! Go big, Burpee! <laughs> move. Way to level up, little guy. No slow and steady this time. Well, hello. Welcome back. These guys are unstoppable! <laughs> so, uh, remember what I said about crossing that bridge when we come to it? Want me to put this on? Did you see what happened to Dana? <laughs> Please don't fry my brain. It belongs to us. Are you talking to me? Who are you that you can withstand the power of the Shadow Talker? The Shadow Talker? The circlet on your brow. It allows communication between the wearer and the Shadow Clan. <laughs> but not all can survive its mind-bending force. So again, we inquire. Who are you? you? Uh, I'm Eli Shane. Uh, uh, my father was Will Shane. Uh, Will Shane. Uh, Will Shane. Your father could not handle the Shadow Talker's full strength. 
and it appears you aren't ready to wear it just yet. But we will allow you to keep it for the day when you are ready. Now, remove it before it takes your mind. Wait! Who are you people? What do you want? The same thing all Shanes want, including your father. And so, we will meet again. Wait! What did my father want? <sighs> Eli! Dude! <sighs> How did you escape the Shadow Clan? I'm still trying to figure out what happened myself. They just... left. You know, it might be a lot easier if we figure it out together. Huh? Well, to start with, this thing allowed me to talk to them. No way! It did what? I put it on just like Dana and... Wait, where is Dana? No clue. I turned back to check on her and she was just... gone. For now, I have a feeling we'll see her again. My dad kept all these things hidden for a reason. That was his treasure. And I don't think Dana Poor is done hunting for what she thinks is hers. 